The Story of Christmas. The road to Bethlehem was dusty, noisy, and crowded with hundreds of people on their way to the city. They were traveling to Bethlehem because the Roman emperor had just made a new law. He commanded that everybody should return to the town where they were born, so that he could count the number of people in his kingdom. Among the crowd were Joseph and his wife Mary. Joseph was worried about making the long journey to Bethlehem because Mary was expecting a baby very soon. When they arrived in Bethlehem, it was growing dark and the streets were full of people. Mary and Joseph tried to find somewhere to stay. They went from inn to inn, but they found that all the rooms were full. Everywhere they went, they heard the same answer. I'm sorry, but we're very busy. There's no room at the inn. At last, a friendly innkeeper said they could stay the night in his stable. Joseph wished they could have a room at the inn, but Mary did not mind. She remembered the wonderful promise the angel Gabriel had made to her. Your baby will be called the Son of God. He will be born a king, and his kingdom will never end. Mary looked around at the oxen and the donkey. The animals are gentle and kind, she said. God will be here with us. That very night, Mary's little baby boy was born. The ox and the donkey huddled close to keep them warm. Mary wrapped the baby in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger filled with straw. We shall call him Jesus, she said. Not far from Bethlehem, there were some shepherds guarding their sheep from the dangers of the night. They had lit a fire on the hillside to keep warm. All of a sudden, they saw a bright light up in the sky. There, above them, was an angel of the Lord, and the glory of God shone all around them. The shepherds were struck with fear and hid their faces. Don't be afraid, the angel said. I have wonderful news for you. It will bring great joy to everyone in the world. Tonight, a baby has been born in the city of David, and he is the Son of God. last, the shepherds were brave enough to look up. The angel continued his message. This is how you will find the child. He will be lying in a manger, wrapped in swaddling clothes.
all at once, the whole sky was filled with angels, shining more brightly than ever before. The angels were singing their praises to God. Glory to God in the highest. Let there be peace on earth. Let there be goodwill among all the people of the world. As soon as the angels departed, the shepherds began to talk about what they had seen. This news has come from God, said one. Let's go straight to Bethlehem, said another. We must see the wonderful baby which the angel told us about. The shepherds were so excited that they ran as fast as they could to Bethlehem. They carried with them the youngest lambs. When they reached the stable, they saw the baby lying in the manger. Beside him sat Mary and Joseph, and around him the animals stood, hushed and still. It was only a humble stable, yet the shepherds knew that they were looking at the Son of God. They fell to their knees and worshipped Him, and offered the lambs as gifts to show their love. The shepherds left the stable and went out into the streets. They told everyone they met about the wonderful sight they had just seen. townspeople were amazed. God had long ago promised to send them a savior. Could this baby really be God's son? After the shepherds had spread the news, they went back to their flocks, praising God and rejoicing. Away in the east, three wise men saw a new star in the sky. They looked in their books and found out what the star meant. It was a sign promised by God long ago to show that a new king had been born. The wise men decided to go and find the baby and worship him. They set out on a long journey across mountains and deserts, following the bright star. At last, the wise men reached Jerusalem. They went to King Herod and asked his priests where the newborn baby might be found. One priest said, It was written long ago that a new king would be born in the town of Bethlehem. The wise men were overjoyed when they heard this. They thanked the priests and set out again. The bright star went on in front of them. When they reached Bethlehem, the star stopped over the stable where Jesus lay sleeping. The wise men knew that they had found the child they were looking for. They got down from their camels and rushed into the stable. The wise men saw Jesus lying in the manger with Mary watching over him. 
knelt down and took out the gifts they had brought. Gold, frankincense, and myrrh. One by one, they laid the gifts in the straw at the baby's feet. Then, they bowed their heads before the Son of God. Jesus opened his eyes and smiled. As Jesus grew, he became strong and wise. He was a friend to all animals and all people. Mary smiled when she remembered the wonderful secret God had revealed to her. Her baby had been born to bring the love of God to the whole world. Poems for Christmas The Bells Hear the sleighs with the bells, silver bells. What a world of merriment their melody foretells. How they tinkle, tinkle, tinkle in the icy air of night. While the stars that oversprinkle all the heavens seem to twinkle with a crystalline delight. Keeping time, time, time in a sort of runic rhyme to the tintinabulation that so musically wells from the bells, 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 from the jingling and the tinkling of the bells. As Joseph was a walking. As Joseph was a walking, he heard angels sing, This night shall be born our heavenly king. He neither shall be born in house nor in hall, nor in the place of paradise, but in an ox stall. He shall not be clothed in purple nor pall, but all in fair linen, as wear babies all. He shall not be rocked in silver nor gold, but in a wooden cradle that rocks on the mold. He neither shall be christened in milk nor in wine, but in pure spring well water, fresh spring from Bethany. Mary took her baby, she dressed him so sweet, she laid him in a manger, all there for to sleep. As she stood over him, she heard angels sing, Oh, bless our dear Savior, our heavenly King. The Lamb. O 
Little lamb, who made thee? Dost thou know who made thee? Gave thee life and bade thee feed By the stream and over the mead? Gave thee clothing of delight, Softest clothing, woolly, bright? Gave thee such a tender voice, Making all the vales rejoice? Little lamb, who made thee? Dost thou know who made thee? Little lamb, I'll tell thee. Little lamb, I'll tell thee. He is called by thy name, for he calls himself a lamb. He is meek and he is mild. He became a little child. I a child and thou a lamb. We are called by his name. Little lamb, God bless thee. Little lamb, God bless thee. Santa Claus. He comes in the night. He comes in the night. He softly, silently comes while the little brown heads on pillows so white are dreaming of bugles and drums. He cuts through the snow like a ship through the foam while the white flakes around him whirl. Who tells him I know not, but he findeth the home of each good little boy and girl. His sleigh, it is long and deep and wide. It will carry a host of things, while dozens of drums hang over the side, with the sticks sticking under the strings. And yet not the sound of a drum is heard, not a bugle blast is blown, as he mounts to the chimney top like a bird and drops to the hearth like a stone. The little red stockings he silently fills till the stockings will hold no more. The bright little sleds for the great snow hills are quickly set down on the floor. Then Santa Claus mounts to the roof like a bird and glides to his seat in the sleigh. Not the sound of a bugle or drum is heard as he noiselessly gallops away. He rides to the east and he rides to the west. Of his goodies he touches not one. He eateth the crumbs of the Christmas feast when the dear little folks are done. Old Santa Claus doeth all that he can. This beautiful mission is his. Then children, be good to the little old man when you find who the little man is. Bethlehem. A little child, a shining star. A stable rude, the door ajar. Yet in that place, so crude, forlorn, the hope of all the world was born. Song. Neither in halls nor yet in bowers born would he not be. Neither in castles nor yet in towers that seemly were to see. But at his father's will, betwixt an ox and ass, Jesus born he was. Heaven he brings us till. The Friendly Beasts. Jesus, our brother, strong and good, was humbly born in a stable rude, and the friendly beasts around him stood, 
Jesus our brother, strong and good. I, said the donkey, shaggy and brown, I carried his mother up hill and down. I carried her safely to Bethlehem town. I, said the donkey, shaggy and brown. I, said the cow, all white and red, I gave him my manger for his bed. I gave him my hay to pillow his head. I, said the cow, all white and red. I, said the sheep with curly horn, I gave him my wool for his blanket warm. He wore my coat on Christmas morn. I, said the sheep with curly horn. I, said the dove from rafters high, cooed him to sleep, my maid and I. We cooed him to sleep, my maid and I. I, said the dove from the rafters high. And every beast, by some good spell, in the stable dark, was glad to tell of the gift he gave Emmanuel, the gift we gave Emmanuel.